Who doesn't want to take a driving tour in a jalopy? Nobody? No, no. Come on, raise your hand. You want to? I can't see your hand, so that really makes no sense. I'm Jerry Chambers. This is your quick look at Jalopy. Now, this is slightly unusual. I'm not usually going to do quick looks of games in early access, but Jalopy is so much fun. I have had hours of fun with Jalopy, and the developers are consistently pushing out new information. You'll notice right here in Nus Berliner, Yugoslavia update. Originally, you had uh, Germany and the Czech Republic. Then they added Hungary because everyone was hungry for an update. Now they added Yugoslavia because you go to Slavia? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Shut up. I just made it up. <laughs> uh, the game's art is very, very uh, aesthetically pleasing. It's not realistic. It's aesthetically pleasing. If you don't like the aesthetic, well, it's not a game for you. Uh, we are going to drive our Latka 608 Deluxe or 610 Deluxe, I can't remember, uh, across uh, wherever. And to make it, we're going to have to deal with a cash issue. Now, we're going to use my save game, which has $1,217, not dollars, Deutschmarks. Deutschmarks, Derek, Deutschmarks. Uh, I've got a lot of money because I'm playing a game a lot. We'll talk about how I got this money, but you're going to start out with not a lot of money. It's going to be a difficult few tries. But the nice thing is each time you fail, you reset, you keep all your stuff. So let's uh, continue my game. All right, we have woken up in our garage. Garage. And here is our like uh, 3 whatever deluxe. Now, this one I have... Crimped and preened. This thing is clean and ready to rock and roll. We have a trunk full of goodies. We are going to buy and sell things. So, like, uh, that's a bad example because I can't sell it. Uh, okay, I can't sell anything at this level. Anyway, uh, let's get this stuff sorted in my trunk properly. Oh, my gosh. My trunk looks like crap. There. You see, I also have a crowbar. You do not start with a crowbar. You must get a crowbar. Uh, you do start with one of these. That's a jack. Yes, that is a jack. Uh, we are going to buy and sell to make ourselves some money. Now, my car is upgraded. I've got a uh, roof rack. I've got a, a bull bar because, you know, I never have accidents, but in case I were to have one, it's important to have. I can push my car. I didn't really want to push it. In the uh, engine bay, I have an upgraded battery and an upgraded water tank. Everything. Oh, and an upgraded uh, ignition coil. Everything else is stock right now. Okay. You do have to, to make, maintain your engine, you have to maintain your tires. Uh, you, when you come back to your original location, you get all the stock basics you need. Um, I actually do want to take those things. Um, and you can do repairs if you so desire. Yeah, take all that stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's put some of this stuff up. Nope, nope. There. All right, let's see if we can put this stuff up here. No, up, up. There we go. All right. So we got that stuff. We have a friend. I'm not going to approach him. I'm going to stay back here with his weird, weird coat of weirdness. Uh, I'm going to stay back here because I actually don't want him to come along because he talks a lot and he annoys me. So I'm not going to, uh, if I don't approach him, he won't mess with me. It is early access. The story will eventually evolve, I'm sure. And he will probably be a quit moving car. Uh, he will probably have a part to play in that. But um, until then, we're going to get in the car. Get going. All right. So we are in a luck. Uh, what is it? Uh, 601 Deluxe. There we go. It's a 601. There. Now, you know, we have our passport. Yep. That's our passport. Q drops it. We have our money. I have a lot of monies. You will not start with so much monies. All right. We have over here our book of road tripping. All right. So some important bits about this game. You'll always have three routes to choose. The routes are randomized. The weather is randomized. And the stops are usually listed. Sometimes it's a question mark. So this means somewhere along the way, we have a gas station on all these. Uh, this one is happy days. This one is terrible days. This one's moderate days. Now, we're going to take the long way. 
And the reason is going to come clear, hopefully, at some point along the way. It's raining. The game is loading the... There we go. Alrighty. Terrible weather. Let's grab our key. Engine is on! Lights. Windshield wipers. Let's roll! Oops, take the brake off, you idiot. There. Woohoo! Let's roll. Now, we're just cruising along. The important thing we're looking for, though, are boxes on the side of the road. <clears throat> now, the chances are I'm not going to see it for a little while. But we're looking for boxes on the side of the road. And those boxes contain stuff. <clears throat> it could really be stuff, which is actually a stuff you can get in a box. Uh, but we're going to want to find these boxes and open them and get the contents out and hopefully sell the contents for a lot of money. And once we've done that, we'll have the money we need to continue our voyage. You sell your stuff at the, uh, or your stoof, at the gas stations or at the final city you go to. There we go. <laughs> There's not a lot of other drivers on the road, but there are drivers on the road. Um, they do cause accidents. You do get fines. Yeah, it happens. <clears throat> like that guy. He is driving terribly. Anyway. <laughs> oh, we have smoke coming out of our engine. That indicates that the parts are slowly failing underneath the hood of my car. That's not unusual. You just kind of ignore it. Um, only when the car stops running do you have an actual problem you need to address. Oh, dude. Jeez. That guy was a jerk. Um, now, we do have our repair kit on the roof, so we could stop and repair it, but I don't really care to. I usually push the car until it's pretty dead. Um, and because I have some upgrades, of course, my car does go pretty quickly. The initial car is not going to go nearly as quick. And hopefully at some point we'll run across one of those boxes so we can look at a box and see what's in there. All we're doing is exploring. We're just pushing forward to explore. It's just a road trip in our jalopy. And that sounds really boring. But what you'll find is it's actually really meditative. I could turn on the radio, but I'm afraid to because it might be copyrighted music for all I know. Dude, you racing me. You racing me. Or whatever. I like this better than yours. Uh, <laughs> it's it's really a game that's very zen, laid back, explore. Um, right now we're in a situation where we're not doing much exploring. We're on the, the motorway. Usually the Dresden Drive is the least entertaining part of this. Um, everyone, so there's a box. Box, 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 box. Woo! All right, let's get off the road. Perch. Enter that. Eh. 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 Get out. All right, we got some boxes here, people. Got some boxes. I'll bring that over here. Pop the old trunk of Rooney. Oh, yeah, guys, we just hit the mother load. Okay, that's stoof. I don't care about that. All right. Now, if I had left the boxes closed, I could have put them on the roof. I didn't. So we're going to have to try to... I can't put that on the roof. Okay. I don't care about that then. It's not worth it to me. Uh, don't care about the oil. Don't care. All right, I really want to get the wine here. The reason is the wine sells for a lot of... It could be vodka. I don't know. Alright, gonna have to find more space in my trunk for vodkas. Uh, let's see here. You're assigned for 310. Oh, that's right, I can put you up there, can't I? Okay. One vodkas. Two vodkas. It becomes that game of figuring out how to put everything in. Now here's Stoof. <laughs> Oof. 
it sells for like no nothing at all. So I really never care about stoof. All right, we really need. Oh my goodness, I have oil in this car already. Wow. Okay. Next time I come across the box, I'm just throwing it on the roof. So now we will hope to get our gas station relatively soon. And then we can uh, sell it for a bunch of money, which is the whole point of what we're doing. Well, it's not the whole point, but it's a good good thing to do. Let's, let's go with that. Um, you can buy um, pallets that go on the roof. Um, I haven't done that. I really wish I could put something in the... Whoa! Ow. Uh, I really wish I could put something in the, the back seat, um, but I can't. So there you go. Um, who knows what will change in the future with this game. So understanding that this is just after the Yugoslavia update. <laughs> right now, I adore this game for this just that relaxing. I want to go on a drive. I want to, let's see, we want to go to the tank still, so we're going this way. Yep, I'm going to go this way. All right. It's, it's that, that exploration and finding what's going on. It's not as intensive as some games like My Summer Car, which I know is much more intensive in terms of what you need to do to your car. They actually give you a running car from the start in Jalopy. Um, it's not a great car, but it's a car nonetheless. Ah, we made it. Okay. We're down below a half tank, so I definitely want to refuel. Oops. Break. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn the car off. Uh, there are situations, by the way, where you don't ever want to tur turn your car off. Because you won't get it started again. Hmm. All right. Let's fuel up. Now, this is a two-cylinder engine. So I need to put oil mix in there. You'll notice that the gate just closed back there to keep me from stealing anything. Um, there used to be a, work, a cheat to cheat around that, but that's been removed, thankfully. Okay, we're lean. And we're empty on oil. Well, booger. Fine. Uh, we need some repairs. Let's, uh, let's repair that. There that went. <laughs> well, we've got somewhere anyway. All right, let's uh, let's check what the prices look like inside before we decide. Twenty-five percent off on stew. Fifty percent off. Okay, we're definitely not selling anything. Uh, well, we could sell coffee maybe or cigs or the worst. Okay, we'll sell those, but we're not going to sell the other stuff. Okay. Come here. Come here, box. Thank you. All right, so the box is useful because otherwise we have to carry everything in packs of three. Instead, I can put my box down and say, all right, I'm going to sell... What did we say we are going to sell? D-Worst for sure. Uh, did we say coffee? Yeah. Yep. That should be coffee too. 310, 310, 3. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's grab a couple more things of coffee. Oh, we can double stack. Okay. Forgot about that. All right. And coffee and coffee. There we go. All right. That'll get us a little bit of money. <clears throat> and then we can proceed on our way. Hello. Yeah. What? Well, you don't want to buy any more? Come on. Ah. Give me this and this. Thank you. I don't know why you were being like that, but all right, fine, whatever. Let's go and put more coffee in here. And we're going to buy oil because we need oil. Um, oh, I have stuff in here. Well, that can get out. Oh, I'm sorry. That's knit, which is the same as stuff, by the way. 
you'll notice that there's different kinds of coffee. There's different. It just depends on where you got it within the game. This will give us a good operating capital. Apparently, I ran into a lot of coffee recently. <laughs> Excellent. So then we'll just continue our drive on to Dresden. Once you reach Dresden, of course, you need to go and stay in a hotel. It's early access, people. It's it's early access. It's it's actually pretty good for early access. It has not crashed in game on me. It's crashed on load once, uh, but that was my fault, honestly. Uh, that over there move our move our vodka around here so that we have it in better position the the really fun part is as you get farther along you'll start driving into areas where um you're going to be going to, doing a lot of off-road driving a lot of um what i think is very very well done um kind of uh it, it makes you feel like you're truly exploring as you drive along. Hello. Thank you. I don't want to put, okay, fine. Throw that down. All right. Uh, I need this, please. Cool. Now let me go get my wallet, and then we can buy it and go about our way. Open. Open. Ah, there we go. I could sell the tires, but we're not. We're going to keep them just in case. So, boop. Now I got more money. If I press Q, woo! <laughs> I like that. It goes flying back to my car. All right, let's get ourselves some optimal oil mixture. Close the hood. There we go. Stuck on a pallet. <laughs> Is that my sleeping bag back there? Oh, it is. All right. We're good to go. Let's, uh, oops, take the brake off and go. Now, over time, of course, your car will get dirty. You will have to clean the car. Uh, it actually gets to the point where you do have to use a little, uh, little spray nozzle there to clean the the dirt off of your windshield because you will end up in a position where you can't see nothing out the window. Go. All right. We are heading for Dresden. I have to remember how to get there. Dresden, that way. I don't want to go back to Berlin. It's a bad idea. To Dresden we go. So the car should be peppier because I fixed it. And that stops, so we're going to get some more speed out of her. Now the, the authors have recently added in pushing the car, which is good because sometimes, quite honestly, you do get stuck. They also fixed a problem that I had where I ran out of gas and the car flipped. That was hilarious. Um, now a lot like um, Euro Truck or American Truck, of course, 430 kilometers is abbreviated in the game. Uh, these tunnels usually are an indicator you're flying through a huge amount of space. Um, so even if you have like, a, like we chose a 430 kilometer drive, it's not really 430 kilometers. So you're not going to be completely put off by the distance. Later on, you're going to get into some really twisty turny stuff. That's really fun. Um, and there's, there's these side routes and, back roads and it's I can't say enough good about Jalopy so far it's not perfect but it's pretty darn good and I've enjoyed playing it immensely I'll often you know start up a, a bit of music and I'll just kick back drive my Jalopy picking up stuff on the side of the road or stoof and uh, be happy as can be. Uh, that roundabout, by the way, usually signals. Here's Dresden. 
Yeah, we're in Dresden now. So, now that we're here, we can sell stuff again, but we don't want to. We already know the prices are pretty bad. Uh, at the beginning of the next day, you will not be able to go back. Um, you do have to follow traffic signs, everybody. That knows that I usually don't. You do have to. Failure does get you a ticket, and X number of tickets gets you in deep, deep doo-doo. You don't want to do that, so don't. Um, is that the lack of dealer? No. That's uh, another sales place. You can buy stuff. I'm looking for the like the like a de like a dealer um, because I want to show you all of the upgrades you can get. Um, and I'm also looking for the hotel because we're gonna need that. That's the border. We'll cross that tomorrow. You're allowed one one city per day. Here is our like a dealer. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Get over yourselves. There we go. All right. Ah, right. So there's also a hotel somewhere. But we're going to go open that into our face because that's a good idea. Greetings. Yep. Let me look through the catalog. So we have what engines do we want? We can add, you can go all the way up to a Carbolite engine if we wanted to. We probably could. Uh, we can go uh, with uh, stock. That's stock, by the way. We can go naked engines. We can go ramshackle engines. All the way up to squash engines for 440 for a Carbolite squash. Fuel tanks are the same. We got the stock, the chubby, the portly, and the stout. Carburetors, we have the stock, the through, the pipe, and the tube. Air filters, we have the stock, the coverless, the stubby, and the can. Ignition coils, we have our stock, our barrel, our double barrel, and our triple barrel. Batteries, we got various. I have the top end battery. I actually found that in a car on the side of the road. Water tanks, I believe I have the Oasis. Again, found it on the side of the road. Extras, so we have the tool rack, which we're actually going to add to our list here. The roof rack. Digital Dash. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I just noticed that I... It looks like the uh, bumper that I had is no longer on the list. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, okay. Uh, let's order that. Thank you, sir. All right, let's cancel out of this. Escape, then. <laughs> All right, let's go and get our tool rack. Here is our tool rack. I'm going to go drop it right there. We're going to rip it open. No, nope, drop it. Ugh, drop it. Fine. You are a pain today. Err. Change that. Shouldn't have. Okay. There. Oh, did it give me a brand new crowbar? Sweet. So I can get rid of this one. I can sell it for 30 bucks. That makes life even better. Woo! -hoo! Look at that, guys. I've now upgraded my. Oh, that is. That is just sweet. There's so much sweetness right there in that car. So much sweetness. Ah, it's a beauty. It's a beauty of a car, people. Be quiet. I like it. It's jalopy. It's my jalopy, and I'm happy with it. All right. I'm not even going <laughs> to bother to turn on my lights. The hotel should be back here somewhere. This is Russia. We do things differently. Oh, there's a hotel right there. Mm. Perch. And off. All right. So now I'm going to grab my wallet. There we go. And then we'll go in and we'll take a night at the hotel the next day. 
we will proceed to the next place. Thank you. Thank you. Get rid of that. Now we just go up to room 2B. Or not 2B. Haha. <laughs> Still raining. Uh, 2B, 2A. 2B! Unlock it. Open. Woo! Alright, we sleep. And then the next day we drive. And that is Jalopy. It is, right now it is in early access. It is quite the game. It is worth taking a look at if you are interested in any way, shape, or form about driving a jalopy, or if you just want to explore a very meditative, relaxing game with really not much of a failure state right now. Um, you're not going to die yet. That might change. But you know, when your car runs out, you just open up your little book and you click drive home, and then magically you reappear at home. That's what it does right now. Whether that will change with time, I don't know. But I'd say check Jalopy out if you like the idea of driving around. Till next time, I'm in Dear Tubbers. I'm going to sleep here in Dresden. And tomorrow, I'm driving into Czechoslovakia. <laughs>